Well, this is the city Jerusalem. It's righteous. Lots of people live here, most of them good. But when they fall from grace, well, that's right. My name is Friday. Good Friday. I carry a badge. <laughs> <laughs> the story you are about, to, are about to hear is true. None of the names have been changed because only one was innocent. <laughs> it was Thursday, April the 1st, 11.07 a.m. My partner Frank and I just completed the Barabbas case. Booked him on a 3.14. A call came in on a 4.32 city on a 14, walking on the water. I well, thought it was an April Fool's joke, but sent Chuck and Ray out to investigate. Well, I came back empty-handed. The suspect had outrun the patrol boat. <laughs> Sunday, April 4th, 12.42 p.m. Large, noisy gathering just outside the gate. Beautiful. Frank sat on the donkey, and I grabbed the light. We headed out to investigate. <laughs> Don't worry about singing the song. <laughs> yep. I put that one in there, I should take it down. Eileen, come on, Eileen. Oh, Eileen. Oh, 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 what are you talking about? There is no fire. Yeah, everyone is shouting it out. Jesus is on fire. No, they're saying Jesus is the Messiah. Are you sure? I'm sure I heard something about ho uh, hoses in the fire. That's Hosanna in the highest. Really? Maybe my teachers were right about me not concentrating enough. So, are you saying Jesus is the Messiah? Well, everyone seems to be getting all excited about him. When the news went round that the new king was coming, people came swarming from everywhere. The new king. Gee, he must have he must have come in a great set of wheels. Something with a lot of horsepower. <laughs> Jesus was riding a donkey. An ordinary donkey. I thought this bloke was supposed to be a king. What happened next? Nothing. It was so frustrating. Jesus could have just said the words and thousands of people would have joined his army. You should have seen the people. We could have taken Jerusalem back from the Romans. It was right from the plucking, and Jesus did nothing. He said something about a different plan. What a loser. I don't know. He seemed to be fairly confident about what he was doing. If he is the Messiah, maybe we should trust him. I think we should put some money in the meat on. I think we should put some money in the meat on. What if the police come along and book our donkey? Frank, we are the police. Come on, let's talk to these people here and see what they know. Well, my name is Friday, Detective Good Friday. This is my partner, Detective Frank Dawson, Jerusalem Crime Investigation. We carry a badge. <laughs> Sorry, folks, you missed the show. Oh, what do you mean? Jesus is already come and gone. What did we miss? It was amazing. Jesus of Nazareth is coming into Jerusalem. People are calling him the Messiah. They're, they were having palm branches. Having palm branches and singing Moses out. Come on, Ali. We just want the facts. <laughs> where is Jesus now? He went home. Well, do you know where he lives? He doesn't have a home. But if you find one of his disciples, then you should find Jesus. How do you find one of his disciples? Follow the fish smell. Frank, grab the donkey. We're on a mission to find and question this Jesus of Nazareth. Tuesday, 9.05am, we had only just got to the police station when the stakes got raised. The members of the Jewish persuasion had put out a subpoena on this Jesus of Nazareth. The charge, trashing the temple and blasphemy. We had just had to find this Jesus. Lucky for us, Frank just happened to run into one of Jesus' followers coming back from buying lunch. He brought him in for questioning. Gee, fish is getting expensive at the moment. Must be getting close to Easter. <laughs> Frank, you got coleslaw in the nose, mate. Thanks, Goody. No worries. 
So, is your name Thomas? Ah, uh, yes. Did I do something? Look, we just want the facts. Do you know a man named Jesus Christ? Ah, uh, yeah. I know him. What is this about? What's this all about? He says he's the Son of God. What do you think? Well, he is a great bloke. You should see the Look, mate, mate, we just want the facts, sir. Just the facts. Well, the Son of God. Yes, sir. I doubt it. Well, reports say he's staying at Bethany. Well, what do you say? Bethany? I know the place. I doubt it. <laughs> I guess that makes him up down the <laughs> Oh, that's a goodie. <laughs> oh, you write your own material. <laughs> they say Jesus is the King of the Jews. What do you say? Well, I doubt that. He calls himself the light of the world. What do you think? I doubt it. They say he's mankind's salvation. What about you? Well, I, I doubt, doubt it. it. Are you going to be available for any further questions? I doubt it. <laughs> well, Wednesday, 11 05 a.m. As Frank and I were wondering whether to follow up this Bethany lead or not, a fig farmer came in with a 402 complaint willful destruction of property. I went to question the farmer. Frank went to call his mother. Are you the farmer? Sure am. Wow, is that a badge? I just love badges. Can I have one? No, I'm the only one who's allowed to carry the badge, thank you very much. What's your problem? Well, it's this Jesus fella. Jesus again? What happened? Uh, he killed one of my fig trees. What did he do? Tear it up? No, nah, he never even went near it. He just cursed it. What? He cursed it. Look, just give me the facts. Well, I've got these five fig trees down by the fence, you know. Yes. And this here Jesus fellow comes rolling along figuring he's going to eat one of my figs. Well, sir, he saw that there was none to be had, so he cursed it. I see. Okay. Well, we'll get right on it. Um, we'll let you know if anything comes up. Now listen here. I'm a taxpayer and 20% of my crop is gone. Now what am I going to do? I've got a wife, a kid, I just bought a dishwasher. Alright, alright. Um, did you see what he was driving? A donkey. What colour? Light brown. Fully, uh, deli and plates. Did you get the number? No. Why not? Tail light was out. <laughs> This is not getting us anywhere. So, so where is your farm anyway? On the road to Bethany. Bethany again? Frank, saddle up the donkey and sidecar. We might just have to take a little trip to Bethany. Sorry about the smell. It is a bit strong. But the smell's nothing compared to the stink that the incident made with my master. It was amazing. Jesus was here. I don't know why my master, Simon the Pharisee, even invited him, but Jesus came and shared a meal. Then it happened. This, uh, this place smells like the perfume department of a big store. It smells like a really rich woman accidentally dropped a bottle of perfume setting off the most expensive stink bomb in history. But she was not rich, and this was not an accident. She was the penniless, uh, the pen penniless poorest of the poor, giving away the only precious thing she had. Jesus sat still while she poured the liquid all over his head. Jesus didn't need it, but he didn't stop her. And everyone here who saw it, who smelt it, and who remembered that he was against extravagance, couldn't understand why Jesus let her do it. They forgot that he was also the poorest. Uh, sorry, they forgot that he also was the poorest of the poor. And my master and his friends, who have so much and who had given Jesus, given Jesus nothing, they were the one who objected. Um, to giving, uh, to giving Jesus everything. Jealousy was in the air when a poor woman's generosity became an embarrassment to their tight-fistedness. It was amazing. I may never get the smell out of this place, and I know that I'll never forget what happened here today. Hey, Jesus, have a missed him. Yeah, he's headed back to Jerusalem for the Passover. Come on, Frank, put the donkey in reverse. Back to Jerusalem. Thursday, 12.30pm, I 
efforts to find this Jesus were turning up nothing. We needed a lucky break, and I think it just happened. Frank and I were heading over to the fish den to pick up some takeaway from all the boys at the station, despite the high fish prices. The donkey made a wrong turn, and it proceeded down an alleyway behind the temple. We ran into another Jesus follower. Da, 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 da. I don't know, Goody, but maybe we're lost. Boy, it sure stinks back here. Or maybe we should have sent Sergeant LeVert. You know, it's his beat anyway. Wait a minute. Isn't that someone up there? Oh, yeah? Yeah, pull the donkey over up here. Hey, buddy. Do you know the way back to Goldstone's fish den? Yeah. Want to tell us? The current batch. Okay. Go to the end of the alley. Hang a right. Go down two blocks. You can't miss it. Big fish going around in the sky. Yeah, well, thanks. Oh, by the way, what are you doing back here? Uh, me? I've got a meeting with the Pharisees later on. Pharisees, huh? So, who are you? My name is Iscariot. <laughs> Judas Iscariot. Oh, are you one of the twelve? What's it to you? We're looking for Jesus. Do you know where he is? Maybe yes, maybe no. What's in it for me? We can buy you some lunch at the fish den. No thanks. I've just eaten. Show me the money. Well, um, here's my bowling money, plus the change from the coffee shop. And here's the 20 pieces of silver from the boys back at the station to buy lunch with. Well, if you have my 10 pieces, that makes 30 silver pieces. 30 pieces of silver, do you? That will do. Okay, you gotta promise me one thing. Oh, what's that? Don't tell Jesus I rattled on him, okay? No. Ten for me. No one will ever know it's you. <laughs> so, how do you want to set this thing up? Well, let's see. Tonight's gonna be a Passover. We're gonna eat about eight o'clock. You can pick up, pick him up in the garden around 10.30? 10 10.30? Fine. Well, how are we supposed to know this Jesus fellow? I'll point him out for you. No, no, not, not good enough. Why not? We need something more definite. Mm. What if we get the wrong guy? Okay. I'll go up and shake his hand. No, but still not definite enough. Why? What if someone else shakes his hand? Well, what do you want me to do? Kiss him? <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll see you tonight. Where is my submission? Don't worry. I'll be hanging around. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing a sudden flow of blood and water. But he was pierced for our transgressions. 
He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wounds we are healed. Then he took the cup, gave thanks, and offered it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Then they sang to him and went out to the mountain. Luke 22, 39 to 48. Jesus went out as usual to the Mount of Olives, and his disciples followed him. On reaching the place, he said to them, Pray that you will not fall into temptation. He withdrew about a stone's throw beyond them, knelt down, and prayed, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. An angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him. And being in anguish, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat was like drops of blood falling to the ground. When he rose from prayer and went back to the disciples, he found them asleep and exhausted from sorrow. Why are you sleeping? he asked them. Get up and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. While he was still speaking, a crowd came up, and the man who was called Judas, one of the twelve, was leading them. He approached Jesus to kiss him, but Jesus asked him, Judas, are you betraying the Son of Man with a kiss? Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Friday, four thirty a.m. It's been a really long night. The Judas sting came off. Jesus officially is in our custody. However, we might just have the break in the case we need to nail this Jesus. Just outside the police station, Frank has spotted a person who we believe is one of the key followers of Jesus. We left Jesus with Herod and went to talk to yet another follower of Jesus. How are you there? What, me? What's going on? My name's Friday. Detective Good Friday. This is my partner, Detective Frank Dawson. Jerusalem Crime Investigation. We carry a badge. We just want the facts. Are you the one they call Simon? Also called Peter. I am. Which, Which one, one is it? It's both. Listen, Simon. Well, what do your friends call you? The Rock. <laughs> How are you listed in the phone book? I don't know. Well, what does it say on your driver's license? Uh, I haven't got a donkey either. Well, what's it say on your fishing license? Retired. <laughs> well, do you know a guy named Jesus? Jesus? No, I never heard of the word. Look, we have over a dozen witnesses here having seen you with him on a number of occasions. Now, what do you mean you don't know him? Maybe it was someone who looked like me, because I don't know him. <laughs> but Rocky, you have to think. Look, I don't know him. <laughs> Friday, 6 a.m. After a week of persistent effort, Frank and I busted the Son of God and arrested Jesus Christ. Well, following police procedure in politically sensitive cases, we found that he went to Pontius Pilate for seven days. <laughs> I don't know, Goody. I've been a cop for a long time. This this time I really think we did the wrong thing. I mean, this Jesus guy didn't look like a criminal to me. Mm, yeah, even Pilate and Herod couldn't find anything wrong with him. I wonder what the Pharisees have against him. He was so nice and gentle. You know, I think he even smiled at me once. <laughs> yeah, well, that's just how it goes in the business. We don't make the laws, we just enforce them. Um, well, I'm kind of tired. I, I think I might take the rest of the day off. I'll see you Monday. I'm going to Sunday. No, Frank. Sunday's Easter. <laughs> <laughs> Friday, 8 a.m. In the Department 6 of the Jewish Supreme Court, Jesus Christ was trialed and convicted of blasphemy. Later that same day, he was crucified by the sins of the world, so that through him, he would be forgiven and come into a day-to-day -day personal friendship with God. He died and was buried in a borrowed tomb. But the story does not finish there. Da, 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 